going on, Ufim? Ryu didn't hear. So I already had a new Legends Limited Goku showcase ready for today's video, but on Twitter, the homie Bebop issued a challenge. And if you know me, I never shy away from a challenge. So he asked us to make a showcase video with the new Goku, but every match has to end with a legendary finish, which is an interesting challenge, and I'm 100% down. So I decided I'll re-record with all the matches ending with the legendary finish, and I think it'd be making uh, it'd be more of an interesting uh, video. I think it'll be an interesting challenge, spice things up a little bit. So the team we're going to be rocking is the new Legends Limited Goku, Goten, and Gohan, and then on the bench we're going to have the Movie Gohan, Ultimate Gohan, and Kaioken Goku, just to buff up the Sun Family units. That Kaioken Goku, I just pulled so many of him on that damn Frieza banner that it would be a waste not to have all those Twinkly Boys we use to buff up our team. Overall, team is fantastic. Team is dangerously strong. And I just realized I forgot to put the platinum equipment on Goten before I did my matches. Oh well, I done goofed, but just realized that the team will do even more chaos if I had that little piece of platinum equipment on. But enough about that, let's jump into some PvP. So Alrighty, here's the first match of the video, going up against Saitama here, and uh, uh, I remember asking a while ago, what is it that that ABR clan tag means? And apparently it means it's a Brazilian Dragon Ball Z clan or group that plays this. So uh, I thought that was rather cool, it's really interesting seeing, you know, like uh, people have their own way to do clans in the game, so that's really cool. But, uh, but anyways, so when with these matches, I like to start out with the Goten because you always want to initiate your fights with, you know, a key blast card. And Goten has such fantastic key recovery and blast damage that I wanted to start out with him here. Now the match is a little bit laggy, so it's throwing me off a little bit here because I'm trying to trying to time everything right, and I think it's throwing him off as well, unfortunately, because you see he uh, didn't quite get his uh, chunks out of the way, so. Thus is the nature of Legends. I get an early Rising Rush, so we take out his Trunks. I absolutely want to get rid of the Trunks. He's my biggest fear. He's Even though he's not really like a last stand unit, the dude can hold his own. Speaking of last stand units, this new Goku is absurd. I don't really know why they released such a powerful Goku, especially on a team that was already stupid strong, but uh... They did it. I mean, they did it, and they got everyone to pull. This dude is absurd. He can pretty much do it all, and I find that absolutely nuts. So, let's say you've transformed already, because let's be realistic here. The, the goal with the Goku is to immediately transform. Right off the bat, once he transforms, the dude's main ability reduces his uh, Strike and Blast card parts by 10 for 60 timer counts. Most matches end in 60 timer counts, so basically the whole match. And then his key recovery goes up by 40% for 60 timer counts. That on its own is stupid. But not only that, the dude gets his blue card. Now the thing about his blue card is his blue card is a counter attack. So it's not something that you can just, let's say you gain priority and you're attacking your opponent and whatever. It's not a card that you can use to chain within your combo unless your opponent intentionally just stands there and misses the vanish. If they just stand there, okay, you can get it off. But this thing is mainly a counter move. So whether they use a strike card, blast card, blue card, green card, you will counter them with this thing. And this thing is not like negligible amounts of damage. This thing is stupid. You stack it on with Goku's buffs, it'll kill everything. Even if even if Goku's at a type disadvantage, he'll slaughter green units with his blue card. It's the most punishing blue card countering move I've ever seen in the game. It is stupid. Now why do I call this Goku the last stand unit? Because his passives just make him disgusting when he's the last dude left. So if he's the last dude left, he does plus 50% blast damage off the bat. Now if you don't know, this Goku is a blast type, which goes against what I thought he would be. I assumed he'd be a strike type, melee type rather, because right now the Sun family is incredibly blast oriented. And uh, someone pointed out in the comment section that uh, Perhaps they wanted the Vegeta family to be strike oriented and the Goku family to be blast oriented, which, I mean, that's really cool. I mean, if they want to do that, that's cool. But it 50% additional damage with his respective type, blast, when two allies are defeated. And then he gets even stronger depending on how long he stays on the field. So if you guys remember Bojack, when I told you that he's stupid strong the longer he's on the field, 
Well, guess what? This Goku basically stole that from Bojack. Plus 50% blast damage being the last guy. After 5 timer counts, plus 40% damage inflicted. So that's both the blast and strike and blue cards. After 5 timer counts. And then after 10 timer counts, it's plus 70%. That's absurd. Obviously it resets after he switches, but if he's the last dude left, these passives are gnarly. And when you're facing a team that has two last stand units, because as you know, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is a beast as well when he's the last guy left. Who the hell are you supposed to rise and rush? Who are you supposed to deal with? The, the Sun family team you would handle, people would be able to handle a little bit better uh, because they would rise and rush to Gohan. The rest of them, it wouldn't be too too bad. But now you got two last stand units. Now it's just, it, it feels like it's almost a requirement. Almost a requirement to have uh, two rising rushes in the game. It's crazy. Now, not only that, but Goku is also able to do what defensive units do very well. And that is to take less damage when they come in. So let's say your opponent has priority. You swap into the Goku. Well, for five timer counts, he takes 40% less damage. So it's not even about, you know, being able to swap in or at the end of a combo. It's just five timer counts. He takes 40% less damage, which is crazy. Every time he vanishes from an opponent's attack, he gains 25 key. So if you remember, that's what Super Saiyan 2 Future Trunks had. So he took that from him and then he restores his own health if he's the last guy left. 50% health and then his blue card, you know, the super crazy blue card that destroys everything, minus 15 for the cost. So now it costs 35. That's insane. I He's just so strong. It's just every aspect of him is stupidly strong. I'm not sure why he's so strong. Just crazy. Sun Family Team, in my opinion, I want to make that clear. Uh, you, you could argue that other teams are better than them, but in terms of raw damage output, raw capability, overall usefulness, kit, I think the Sun Family is the best team in the game. I personally feel right now, after this Goku, they are the best in the game, without a doubt. Uh, fusions are still very very strong, but I still confidently can say that this team is better in my opinion. In my opinion, I just want to say that. If you guys feel differently though, if you feel that another team is better than them, uh, you know, let me know in the comment section below. It's always good to hear what your thoughts are, what your reasoning is. Um, I don't know. Uh, don't say because Vegito's, uh, you know, legendary finish is better. That's not a reasonable answer, but give, give me your breakdown. What's your thoughts, you know? Uh, Super Vegito's main ability cancelling out buffs, that's completely understandable, but you need to keep in mind that there are two last stand units here. Two. So, if Super Vegito pops his main ability on one, well, what about the other one? The other one's gonna slap him, 100%. It's, it's, to me it's crazy, 100% crazy. The team is just a powerhouse now. Not to mention they keep releasing platinum equipment, but I get the feeling this is gonna be across all Legends Limited units. Starting off with the Beerus, of course, because he's doo-doo and he needed it. But after Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and Goten, I think the next person to get one is going to be Super Vegito. So who knows what the Platinum equipment could do. Could make him even crazier. Not to say that he's not crazy right now. So, Goku's absurd. Goku's insane. Damage output is nuts. Blue card is, like, it's the most cheese blue card in the game, honestly. Like, how many, how many times do you face a team where they have, like, you know, let's say Bojack's Barrier. 17's barrier. Let's say, you know, you're attacking your opponent or whatever, or let's say they're attacking you and then you vanish and then you're up in their face and you're waiting, you go for an attack or something like that. Well, guess what? This Goku will just pop his blue card and boop, you're dead. You're, well, I mean, you're probably dead. The thing will guarantee do at least 50% of your health. The thing is stupid. Look, look at this example here with the Super Vegeta right now. So he knows. People know that this dude's main ability will do it. So I realize I have to catch him after the vanish. So he comes close, he's gonna go for an attack, boom. It's the most cheese thing ever. Just look at that damage. Absolutely insane. Absolutely worthy of the title of being Legends Limited because it's crazy. It's it's just nuts to me how much damage that thing will do. Absolutely nuts. So nuts. Now, this is the third and final match. So the last two matches, I ended them all for the legendary finish. I'm, I'm, I made sure, Beep Up. I made sure. If you're watching this, made sure to make sure I got the, I got the challenge going. This match here, I kind of make a few mistakes because I was just so obsessed with playing around Goku's um, legendary finish. I done goof. So there are part, there are moments where I drop combo, and I'm just playing around, hoping I can have Goku get the last hit. So 
Like, I bring him in here thinking that I have the time to use his transformation, but I don't. That's why I'm like, okay, I'm gonna use his green card and get this guy out of here. You know what, I just realized, holy crap, I never talked about his green card. His green card is insane. Absolutely insane. So, he forces someone to leave the field. That's always nice, right? Swap someone to get out of the field. I don't know why they've been releasing a couple... Lately, they've been releasing units that seem to just swap people out. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it's really interesting, rather. I mean, they're trying to introduce new gameplay mechanics, you know, play around, throwing people away, but with his green card, let's say he transformed already. He does 15% more damage just for activating it for the record. Like, Goku doesn't have to hit it. So if Goku misses for whatever reason with his dumb green card, then, I mean, plus 15%, yay, we got stronger. He restores his own vanishing gauge. That, to me, is nuts. That, to me, is absolutely nuts. How many times do you, you know, if you have priority and you're doing your combo, by the time you're done your combo, you're probably about halfway with your Vanish, you pop this green card and you're pretty much close to ta to max. And this is not even, you know, factoring in the ability of Goku to restore Ki when he vanishes. Like, it's crazy. He just compliments himself so well. He just does everything this dude. It's crazy. 40% restore when he does it, when he pops his green card. That's crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. And then... Enemies now take plus 15% additional damage received. Impact damage, it says. I'm not sure uh, what the different various impact, uh, you know, categories of damage are. I know there's slice, I know there's impact, I know there's whatever. Uh, so I'm going to assume strike damage. I guess that's their fancy way of saying strike damage because they seem to have like their terminology is up in the air sometimes. So they're probably oh. No, it can actually be Blast as well. Either way, they should have just said plus 15% additional damage. Who knows? But either way, he does more damage. Get the green card off, everyone everyone on the enemy team takes more damage. Because why not? I mean, if Goku does everything else, you may as well be a perfectionist and get that last thing in there. We need the Goku to do everything. I don't know why. We need top grossing, that's why. So, overall, dude's a powerhouse. Dude's an animal. Dude can do everything, honestly, in my opinion. He's, he's absolutely gnarly. Now going back to the match here, my obsession with trying to get Goku to get the legendary finish is coming through. So, guess you with that uh, green, uh, bleh, that blue card there, whatever, that's no problem. Drop a combo there, I'm not sure why it dropped. Uh, lately I've been having moments where combos kind of just randomly drop. I don't know if you, if you saw the last two videos, my combos would randomly drop. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm maintaining everything well, I'm not sure, but uh, either way, so right there uh gets a tackle just i i don't i honestly do not know what's going on like there's a lot of these things i could have dodged but for some reason i could have dodged it is what it is i'm just trying to make sure that the uh the goku gets a last hit because i'm trying to you know bebop's challenge you gotta get bebop's challenge here and look at that a blue card i was so happy to see that blue card because everyone knows what his main ability does so but i had to use it i had to get rid of zamasu there was a previous match where uh I used a blue card thinking I would be finishing off a final form Frieza. Sorry, the uh, the full power Frieza, but I forgot he had a second life, so I didn't want to make that mistake again. So Zamasu has to get out of the picture, and I keep the Gohan in. I'm completely confident in this Goku's ability to take out the green unit, especially Mai. Mai at this point is super good with utility, but she's not the strongest out there, so Goku can absolutely handle her. I'm banking on all the passives that the dude gets when he's the last guy. So that's another thing to factor in with the Sun family. You have these super strong units you gotta deal with. Like it's it's a colossal task to deal with the Gohan by himself, but now you have a Goku to deal with. And regardless of who you leave at the end, it's like you gotta pick your two different poisons here, your, your two different evils. There's nothing you can do. It's gonna suck no matter how you end it off. It, it'll be crazy. So. This is what I mean by he's just so good. Let's say you're in this situation. Look at this. Counters green cards and now his blue card does more damage and his main ability just popped me another one. Look at this. You have no vanish. Your opponent could easily gain priority. Well, guess what? I have this blue card that just destroys everything to keep me safe. It's crazy. It's just so good. This Goku is Z tier 100%. Z++ tier. He's infinity tier. He's really good. But anyways, that's enough about me ranting here. Um, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to let me know. Be sure to let me know uh, why you think other teams could be better. My argument is Sun Family's better. I said it throughout the uh, video. I think they're the best. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, till next time. Peace out, guys.